Hello. Are you going on holiday? I see you've got your suitcases with you. I hate airports. I hate it when they make you take your shoes off. An airport is a nowhere place, full of tired, excited, hopeful people who all want to be somewhere else. People who become stupid when they're in transit, like cows in the back of a truck on the way to the slaughterhouse. But I'm sure you're not like that. You've got your eyes open to the kind of risks you face when you go away on holiday. Sunburn, upset stomach, death. I hope you've taken out comprehensive travel insurance. Come on, come on, tune in. I don't think there are any stations out here. What about the national stations? Radio New Zealand or whatever? The mountains are probably getting in the way of the signal. Turn it off, sweetie, it's annoying. Two hours in a car with no music. Can you check the map? We're still lost. Sweetie, all you had to do was keep track of the road. It's not my fault. We should have hired a car with a sat-nav and decent air conditioning. <laughs> But people navigated for thousands of years before computer technology. We should be able to do the same. These roads are tiny. I don't think they're even on the map. Well, they are. So I told you we should have stayed on the highway. Well, I thought this would be quicker. Not if you get lost. We're not lost. Where are we then? We're, we're going in the right general direction. <sighs> Shouldn't scratch those bites. I can't help it. They're coming up in big red lumps. That's because you keep scratching. Oh, why do insects find me so irresistible? <laughs> Probably because you smell really nice. You mean my blood smells nice to insects, iron rich and nutritious. But who wouldn't find that a massive turn on? Oh, my head's pounding. Oh, I'm so hot. I feel like I'm being slow cooked. <laughs> oh, we'll be there soon. Can't we just stop? Queenstown will still be there tomorrow. Tomorrow is next year. Let's stick to the plan. Looks really touristy in the book. So? All we've seen are tourist places. Mm. I want to see something, I don't know, real before we go home. Queenstown is real, and it's got cocktail bars and bungee jumping. You're scared of heights. That is why I'm going to do it. Conquer my fear. James! But... I, I, I couldn't have avoided it. Not without running us off the road, could I? No, no. Well, well, why was it lying there? It's stupid, bloody sheep. Scratched and dented. Goodbye deposit. <sighs> you have to check if it's still alive. It could be suffering. Well, what do you want me to do if it is? Call a vet. Sweetie, it's a sheep. Okay, it, it's not a family pet. We'd need a farmer with a shotgun to put it out of its misery. I'm going to check. It's dead. Let's go. No, something's moving. It's uh, breathing or... Oh, oh, Grim! 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 Oh, 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 Hatching into flies right out of its. <laughs> I feel sick. Well, at least I didn't kill it. <sighs> that sheep has been dead for a while. Someone else must have hit it first. It's disgusting. Can we just go? <sighs> uh, you are here. Right. Oh, you've pretty much gone the wrong way for Queenstown. <laughs> How far is it? Well, go back to here, then it's another 160k. <laughs> it might take you three hours, a bit more. Oh, we've driven for three hours already. Well, you should have stayed on the highway. Uh, we, we could still make it there for midnight. It's too far, James. I can't. You two want to stay here. Go on in the morning when you're feeling fresh. <laughs> we, uh, we were hoping to spend tonight somewhere slightly more lively. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll sell you a couple of beers. You can sit out the back. There's a nice view. Uh, no, we'll go on. These roads can be dangerous. 
When tourists get tired, they forget what side of the road we drive on here. End up killing themselves. Or someone else. Happened to my son. Some French idiot in a camper van started driving on the right. Head on smash. He didn't stand a chance. That's awful. But, uh, but, but we're, we're British. We drive on the same side as you. I'm not too tired to drive, honestly. You say that now. What about in half an hour? Uh, um, Use some common sense. I'm officially changing the plan. Queenstown's not happening tonight. We're staying here. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one. one. Midnight. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Ow! I'm being bitten to death out here. Bugs love me. Oh, do they? We should probably go to bed. What? I want to get an early start. The room's pretty basic, isn't it? There's no sink. Well, that's basic and it's cheap. Mm. I could charge you extra just for this view of the moon shining on the lake. Mm. <laughs> but uh, I don't. It's free. Right. Don't you think it's beautiful? <sighs> uh, honestly, we've been here for a while and one lake is starting to look very much like another. Uh, that's why I want to go to Queenstown. It is beautiful. <laughs> is it good for swimming? Oh, no. You don't want to go there. There's nowhere to swim. Oh, the swimming's great, but... It's not really a tourist place. Not why is that? Take my advice. Don't go to the lake. No. No. What is it? I was dreaming that. A horrible dead sheep. It was awful. Oh, oh, don't hug me. It's too hot. I need some water. Mm. I'll get you some more. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't expect. Louise and James. Yeah, that's going to be a real feast. In the morning, I'll, uh... Yeah, gotta go. James? Shh. <sighs> the owner was talking about us on the phone. Say what? I'm not sure. <sighs> Something about a feast. He heard me and I, uh... Panicked. I guess uh, I didn't want to be caught there listening to his conversation. <laughs> he followed you up here. But I've got every right to go to the bathroom to get water. I'll go get it now. No! I don't like it here. Let's go now. It's... it's 3am, Luke. <gasps> what if he comes back and stabs us or something? <laughs> He's not going to stab us. You know that for sure, do you? Luke, just calm down. <sighs> I can't sleep with him creeping about out there. <sighs> I'll... I'll put our suitcases against the door, OK? Worst night's sleep ever. Are you heading off already? Don't you want some breakfast? Or a uh, coffee? Uh, uh, no, no thanks. Uh, we left your money on the counter. Do you know where to go from here? Left for Queenstown, right for the lake. Okay. Uh, bye then. Yeah, be seeing you. Turn right. I want to go to the lake, just for a bit. But you said it wasn't a place for tourists. Exactly. This could be our last chance to see something off the beaten track. This is where everybody is. 
It's a New Year's Day, bring your own boat party. <laughs> it's quite redneck. Great, isn't it? <laughs> This could almost make up for that awful night. <laughs> Look, it's ten o'clock. Mm. Liquid breakfast. <laughs> and you're about to go swimming. Well, the Kiwis have beers. Well, they're not swimming, they're looking at boats. I'll just have one. You're a lightweight, you'll be drunk after all. Calm down, Dad, I'll be fine. Mm. Lou? Mm. You're asleep? No. <sighs> it's, it's time to go. Not yet. It's so nice lying in the sun. But th this place is crawling with insects. The longer that we stay here, the more bites you'll get. <sighs> no. I bought the industrial strength, ultra poisonous, burns your skin off if you leave it on too long, but repellent. <laughs> there. Don't lick me, whatever you do. <laughs> Listen. I. I don't think that there are any other tourists here at all. Good. And the motel man told us not to come. They're trying to keep the numbers down or something. Don't want the party getting ruined by loads of tourists. We are tourists. No, we're not. We're travellers. Relax, please. Have a beer. You're on holiday. I'm driving. One beer? <laughs> <sighs> Those boats are the most obvious penis extensions I've ever seen. <laughs> what? Shh. There's no one near enough to hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess. Look at that black one with the spotlights. Exterminator. <laughs> it is a bit ridiculous. <sighs> and like sports cars back home, it's been driven by a prematurely boarding man with a pot belly. <laughs> well, just because he lives in Hickstown, NZ, it doesn't mean he can't have a perfectly valid quarter-life crisis if he wants to. <laughs> Have you noticed? We're the thinnest, sexiest people here. <laughs> Come on, sexy, then let's go. I'm not going anywhere until I've had a swim. You are drunk. Uh, no, I'm not. And I won't go out too deep. It'll be fine. <sighs> Ow! What? I've just been bitten. So much better. <laughs> I feel like a desert plant after the rain. <sighs> I've had enough. I'm going in. <gasps> no, you aren't. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> oh, James! I'm, I'm going in. Are you coming? <gasps> yes, yes. You can be a total bore sometimes. You know that. <sighs> 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 Come on, we can change in the car. Oh, I have five minutes to dry myself off. <sighs> you were looking at my boat. Oh? The black one. Exterminator. Uh, yeah. Um... I'm jealous. I'd, I'd love a boat like that. That's why we were looking at it. That's what we thought. Wasn't it, Sandy? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm Erin. This is my fiancé, Sandy. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Louise, and this I'm is... I'm James. We're going to take the boat out for a little cruise just out in the lake. And we thought you guys might want to come out with us. Mm, have a few drinks, listen to some music. Oh, we'd love that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Oh, I thought you said you liked the boat, mate. I, I do. Well, let's go then. Well, the thing is, we, we need to get on to Queenstown. Oh, it's still early. You've got plenty of time. Uh, I, I don't know. Tell you what, mate. If you don't want to come, we'll just take Louise out. You can stay here and watch. How's that? Don't worry. We'll take good care of her. No. No, I'll come. Really brilliant. I'm glad you liked it, chick. What about you, mate? You all right? Yeah, yeah fine. Honestly, no problem. Yeah, get these down, you. Yeah. I mixed them special. Oh. <coughs> it's strong. Can't be a sailor if you can't take your liquor. Uh, uh, I, I, I can't drink this. Sorry, I'm driving. Oh, I'll give him a coke, Sam. So, tell us about yourselves. What do you guys do? Oh, uh, my, my job's really boring, it's just uh, finance stuff. Big money, huh? 
Um, He's just being nosy. You don't have to tell him. <laughs> right, I do, OK. How about you, Louise? I'm a trainee solicitor. Oh, she's a smart one. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, not really. The company I'm with deals with property law. Oh. Things like disagreements between landlords and tenants. Very dull, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we could have done with you a few months back. Mm. He had a tenant in one of our places, but he wouldn't pay his rent. Mm. We had to get him out. Oh? Yeah. It all got ugly in the end. Ugly? He regretted messing with us, didn't he, Sam? Too right. <laughs> You, uh, you own some properties? Yep. We've got our fingers in a few pies. You've got to think outside the box if you want to make a living in a place like this. Mm. Make your own opportunities. You see what I mean, mate? Mm. Now, shall I tell you a little bit about our fine community? Uh, yeah, yes, sure. please. There used to be a mining town around here. A lot mm. of people struck it rich way back in the 1800s. But when the gold went, most of the people went. Now, 60% of the town makes its living from agriculture, 30% from tourism or tourist related industries but the tourism sector is growing and why does Aaron know all that you might be asking why do I know all that crap Sam it's because he's the bloody mayor <laughs> <laughs> the mayor what really yep oh, we're on the mayor's boat <laughs> it's, it's a weighty responsibility being mayor a lot of people look up to me to get things done mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna lie some of the work I have to do as mayor is pretty enjoyable mm -hmm. uh, what, what kind of work I protect the town's interests, mate. <laughs> what do you think of our lake? It's beautiful. <sighs> Not too bad, is it? <laughs> New Zealand would be a pretty nice place if it wasn't for all the bloody tourists. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just messing with you. How long have you two been in NZ? Three weeks. <gasps> We're going home on Thursday. Oh, you've not got long left. No, we'll be back at work a week today. Oh, shut up. I don't want to think about work. We've still got time to have fun. Sure you do. <laughs> Drink your drinks, guys. Oh, yeah. More where that came from. Thank you. Oh, here. here you go. Have you seen the sights whilst you've been here? Whale watching? Glowworm caves? Yeah, uh, James threw up on the whale watch boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only because I was hung over. Did you go to some hot springs? And glacier? Yeah. <laughs> What about a Kiwi sanctuary? Do you go to one of those? Uh, yeah. yeah did you watch a Maori dance the haka? Yeah, um... Did you buy yourself a green stone necklace as a souvenir? Everybody does that. The three and a half weeks isn't really enough time. <laughs> there are so many other things I wanted to see, non-touristy things, but you can't do a whole country in one holiday. It's a holiday for you, but these are our lives. We're not a bloody pitting zoo. Uh, no, of course. More and more tourists are coming here. Some people in the town because it's a good thing, good for the economy. But I see a tourist more like necessary evil. Ignore him, guys. He gets carried away. Aaron, you're being rude. Now apologise. I apologise. <laughs> I only get like this because I care so much about this town. I'll tell you what. Let me make it up to you. There's something going on today, something special, that you won't find in any guidebook. What? The beach party? No. It's our New Year's Day ceremony. Every year, as mayor, I take a guest of honour. And this year, I'm going to make an exception and take two. You two. Oh, wow, brilliant. Uh, sorry, we'd <laughs> like to, but I think we should be getting on the road. Oh. We've still got a long way to go today. Oh, it won't take long. You'll be back in your car in an hour. Promise? Uh, but, but, and I won't take no for an answer. Throw me that rope. I'll tie her up. Yeah. Out we get. Oh! Oh. Are you okay? That rum's gone to my head and my legs. This way, guys. Oh. Can you slow down a bit, Aaron? Oh, it's hot. It's too hot to be crashing them out in the bushes. Well, where did they go? Hello? Aaron? Sandy? Great. Uh, we'd better go back to the boat. Oh. Assuming they haven't sailed off and left us here already. Did you hear that? What? Great. Excuse me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
There they are. Uh, you disappeared. Sorry about that, mate. Just had to slip off. Check things were ready for you. Everyone, this is Louise and James. I, I didn't realise there were going to be so many people here. Oh, nobody messes the ceremony. What, what is this ceremony exactly? Let me introduce you to our master. Mistress! Shut it, you! Our master of ceremonies. Oh, I see you turned right after all. Yeah, uh, we, we, uh, we did. Oh! Have you three already met? I'm not feeling that great. It's too hot. I need to sit down in the shade and drink some water. Bound to be hot, chick. It's midday. Or not far off. Isn't it, Sam? It's midday. Now. Today, we welcome Louise and James, who came here of their own free will. <laughs> <laughs> Let us paint them with the sign of harmony and collaboration between us and our friends. What's he talking about? Come here so we can paint you. What? <laughs> oh. what? What the hell is that? It's an honour. Nobody is touching any part of me without stuff. You let them paint you in Maori war paint, didn't you? Yeah, but th that was a cultural experience. What do you call this? No, no way. Think how this is going to sound when you tell your friends about it back home. She said she doesn't want to. We'll go back to the boat and wait for you there, all right? You better let him paint you. You don't want things getting ugly, do you? Look, we, we don't want any trouble. We're just going to leave, all right? No, it's not all right. Oh, don't, don't hurt him. We'll do it. It's better. Oh, oh it stinks. I bestow upon them the sign, the sign of blood, the sign of the feast. Feast? What? As payment for another year of harmony with our friends, we accept the sacrifice that James and Louise will make for us. What sacrifice? Friends, let your feast begin with this blood we spill. Uh, Sandy, did you bring the knives? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. No, God. Pigs! Didn't think we meant your blood, did you? Well, what are you going to do to... Kill the pigs! Oh. Quick, I can't stand that bloody noise. No! Uh, don't! Don't! No, please don't! <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? You're, you're messing with us. Scare the tourists. That's what this is, isn't it? If you say so. Oh. Here they come. We get the message. You don't want us here. Fine. You didn't have to do that, too. Could you take us back to our car, now, please? <laughs> sure. Let's go. Do you still feel sick? A little. Oh, so do I. We're nearly at the beach. Oh, go away! All these flies keep landing on me. Oh, these are stuff she's painted us with. It, it smells like rotting meat. <laughs> the bugs around here don't bother native kiwis. Do you know why that is? No, and I don't care. It's because once a year, we give them a tourist as a blood sacrifice. Oh. Uh, very funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we are, safe and sound. And it's not even one o'clock. Told you you'd be back in an hour. Right, I'll get out first. Oh. 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 Hi, guys. Nice meeting you. Enjoy the rest of your time. Yeah, bye. Freaks. Hurry up, hurry up, please. Call the police. What? They threatened us. They said it was a joke. Did you think they were joking? No, no, I didn't. Then call the police. What are we going to say? Officer, a man painted us with some goo and then some other people hummed at us and made us think that they were going to kill us, but they didn't. They didn't actually do anything. He assaulted me, oh. Lou. And what about the pigs? I mean, that's got to be against some kind of law. 
animal cruelty. He's the mayor. It would be our word against theirs anything happened at all. Nobody at the lake would back up what we said. And the police are probably his best friends or cousins or something. They'll laugh at us. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I... Are you all right? I still feel sick and itchy. My head's spinning from all that horrible run, but yeah, I'm all right. Did he hurt you? Yeah, a bit. Oh. I feel odd, too. Probably both in shock. You okay to drive? I'll, I'll stop when we put more distance between us and them. Mm. <laughs> what a bunch of freaks! It's not funny. <laughs> I thought I thought we were going to die, James. I thought. I know. <laughs> well, I, I hope that was real enough for you because that is the last time I ever follow you off the beaten track. Baby, I'm sorry. Can we please go to nice, safe, touristy Queenstown? <laughs> With pleasure. Oh, my face is really itchy. It, my arms are the worst. Oh, my face... It, it's just lumpy. What is it? Oh, Lou. Oh, what's happening? There's <laughs> something moving under your skin. <laughs> Maggots! <laughs> James. 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 Uh, what? No, your face. <coughs> You've got to get me out. My leg is stuck. I can't move. I can't feel anything. Help me. Help me. Help me. No. James's back was broken. Paralyzed, all he could do was watch as the insects consumed Louise. She stayed conscious for a long time, and she looked at him until her eyes were gone. James was a little luckier. He couldn't feel it when the fly larvae began to hatch from inside his own body. The doctor who performed the autopsy was a local, so he reported that they had died of blood loss. Technically, this was true. He didn't say anything about insects. British Airways flight number two. That's your flight. Final call. You've got to go. Off on your holiday to soak up some rays and have some fun. There's no need to be afraid. Just remember the first rule of the wise traveller. Don't upset the locals. In the beaten track. James was played by Christopher Webster and Louise by Kirsty Oswald. Aaron was played by Adam Billington, Sandy by Claire Corbett, and the motel owner by Jonathan Forbes. Mark Gatiss was The Man in Black. The beaten track was written by Dawn King and directed by Jeremy Mortimer.